Hello, Chief Meteorologist Eric Maitland. Hey, the party is over. We are cooling down into the weekend, and we got a nice shot of some uh, colder temperatures and rain as we went through our Thursday, and that'll be the case on Friday as well. Can't rule out some thunderstorms, and as we start the day, Friday morning, there could be a little bit of freezing rain up along Highway 20 uh, that would affect uh, Dubuque County and uh, perhaps portions of Jones County. And as you get into the afternoon, those are the areas that will see that transition from any kind of rain, be it straight rain or freezing rain, over to snow first and then that snow will start to dip down into the rest of the area, especially as we get into a Friday night with uh, most areas Friday evening east uh, I should say west of the Mississippi River, seeing a little bit of snow. As we uh, start off the day, 42 for your Friday morning, only up to about 51. We might all have to cross our fingers even to get that warm showers. A few thunderstorms in the morning, some of that ice to the north, and then that change over to snow as we go through the afternoon and then into the evening hours from northwest to south and east. And there is that band of snow that uh, runs through the area during the uh, overnight hours, Friday into Saturday morning. Saturday actually looks pretty good. We bring back some sunshine after the snow leaves, but highs will only be in the 30s and we'll watch another little system here come out of the south, giving us some possible rain by Sunday afternoon. About one to two inches of snow from the Quad Cities to the north and west, south and east, less than an inch, and some areas just toward the extreme northwestern portion of the TV6 moving area could get two to three inches of snow. Beyond that, snow mounts go up very quickly toward northeast and north central Iowa and southern Minnesota, where a blizzard will be occurring with up to a foot and a half of snow. 33 Saturday, 42 Sunday, chances of rain, much of the seven day forecast might get back to 56 Tuesday before cooling back to the 30s on Thursday.